Hello, Leo, and welcome back to the astrological forecast for the month of June for the astrological sign in Leo. Today, guys, I'll be reading from my usual deck of the 24 karat gold deck of Nefertari, Bride of Rams is the second. We shall see, Leo, what spirit has to offer for you. Please come forward for Leo. King of Pentacles. Anubis. Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, One of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Wow. <laughs> All right. Leo, the sledgehammer is coming down. That's what I'm seeing in this reading for you. All right. So this is a lot about finances and this is a lot about leadership. This could mean a lot of management. Leo, you're a natural-born leader, okay? Their first card is King of Pentacles, how we're entering this month. And we're entering this month as feeling like we are the essence of the king, we are the essence of the ruler, the leader, the manager. We're in charge, and we may be taking that a little too far. Is really what I'm getting out of this. And um, with the King of Pentacles, we're very organized financially. We're, we're handling things properly, but we're, we may be allowing our anger, maybe built up resentment to get in the way. And that's coming out next as the card of Anubis. We may take it out on someone. We may be burning bridges this month with someone. Maybe this could be someone that you've been kind of standoffish with. Maybe this could be someone that you've been very upset with and you want them out of your house. You want them out of your place of business. You want them. And I feel that it may reflect onto other people in a very negative fashion. So be careful of your choices this month. Maybe if we're taking corrective action on someone, we need to be more um, handling it of it in a nature that's going to be leaving them with something to remember as a lesson versus termination or leaving them without an option to come back. I feel like we need to give a second chance, th something of that nature here. And that comes forward as the seven of wands for you. For those who are not dealing with management or who are not working, I feel that we may be dealing with um, maybe someone um, in our family is trying to take from us or, um, and we've forgiven them so many times and we've had enough. Things of that nature it could also mean. And I'm getting here seven of wands um, representing. It feels like we have this month is going by very slowly. We're crossing one bridge to get to another one. Maybe we feel that we've burned a crucial bridge with a certain individual that we've actually really needed their help. And um, we're kind of just struggling on our own and asking other people to help us. And maybe we're being pushy with them. And they're biting at you, biting back at your feet, biting at you, kind of just really tugging at you. So I'm just saying there's a lot of frustration there. But you know you're capable and able of doing it yourself. So either way, the reassurance is hard work will pay off, which is why I get the Eight of Pentacles for you. The Eight of Pentacles comes forward and says... You know what you're doing, you've been doing uh, patiently and steadfast of a nature um, to remaining centered with yourself and the work you've done. And this is the Eight of Pentacles coming forward. Hard work that you've done will pay off for you. And as in general speaking, the Eight of Pentacles uh, represents a harvest. Um, he's picking from the grapevine. He's, he's worked all year. And I feel that we may be having a good reflection of a quarter that we've focused on for ourselves. With growth comes new opportunities. 
Okay, so if we're a manager and we have a business, maybe we're buying new supplies, new computers, new things of that nature. And that comes forward as the one of wands. We're creating new opportunities for growth. We're creating new opportunities and expansion. Maybe we're extending our store. Maybe we are extending um, a relationship with someone um, that we thought we couldn't trust of that nature, things of that nature. Um, we're making new connections with this energy here. We kind of have to improvise and we kind of have to compromise to make the field and the solid ground that we're standing on equilibrium for others around us. Our needs can only be met by what you truly desire. And for others to understand that, you kind of have to voice it and explain what it is that you want. Leo, you're very good at speaking about what you want. You're not one of those people that will walk into the barber shop or salon and say, I don't know what I want. You're going to tell them how it is. You're going to tell them, I want this done. I want that done. So I kind of feel that that nature that you naturally have about yourself is going to bring a lot of clarity for some people around you on how to get this job done or how to do this thing. It's amazing what we can do when we work together as one unified body, as one unified field. And that comes forward as the divine feminine energy and finances. And she's the queen of pentacles. And if we're working on a project or we're managing something and we're, we're creating understanding to what someone else wants to see happen, not only is it going to be overjoying for yourself to see a success, it's also going to be overjoying to see the outcome. And that's the Queen of Pentacles just representation. You're being tested this month from your flexibility and to others' expectations. Are you going to listen to them or are you going to shred them off of your back? Literally shred it off your back like a block of ice. So... Um, how are you going to nurture what other people's concerns are right now, Leo? I feel that it's going to be very, um, it's going to be very confusing for you at times to voice frustrations. When Leo, when you're frustrated, um, it becomes very difficult at times to really see in a way for others to understand, or to voice out in a, in a way for others to understand you. And when it comes to anger or built-up emotions. You're not one to hide them. So I'm just seeing, you know, just be careful with yourself right now in this month. If you have a goal that you want to get done, it's going to really reflect on your sensitivity and that divine feminine side of you. I feel that you're going to need to connect with the divine feminine energies to kind of help soften the emotional aspect of yourself this month. Every human being, whether you're divine masculine dominant or divine feminine dominant, is going to have a middle ground. The divine masculine aspect representing logical terms um, terms that would be more masculine in nature towards um, a male figure or divine feminine towards sensitivity, emotions, um, nurturing, motherly energy versus fatherly energy, commanding energy of the divine masculine. So I feel that we're going to have to step back and we're going to have to play the mentor this month towards our people around us that are in our life. Um, I feel that this is, if this may deal with family, if this, we're not business related with this, I feel that we're going to have to, maybe we can extend kindness towards someone who may be trying to travel to see you or other family members, maybe we're doing a reunion, in order for them, for some reason, there's something about you that's making things possible this month. And it's asking you to step up to the plate and kind of step back away from any form of selfishness uh, and to be selfless. So we're going to have to really step up to the plate and really focus on um, our sensitivity of others this month. Leo, that is my reading for you for the month of June. I appreciate your time. Be sure to check out my link to my personal page below, guys. It's where I do live shows. Like and subscribe to it. And um, I also offer private readings and services for an affordable price. Until next month, Leo, thank you so much for being with us. Namaste.